at Augusta National, there are priceless relics and rare replicas. Links to the legends of the Masters. The most precious of all, the forewood of Gene Sarazen's that produced the shot heard round the world. They're all here, the clubs of the men who wielded these magical sticks in moments of brilliance. Maybe. Yes, sir! There it is! A life changer. Got a chance, yes! He's got it. Over 360 sunsets ago, a young Texan became a springtime sensation. Who will be the next player to add to the storied collection at the Masters? There are two Sundays in Masters Week, and the first is every bit as exciting as the second. 80 kids came to Augusta National to compete in the drive chip and putt national finals. Pretty awesome. <laughs> They've learned from the best in the world, studied their form, applied their lessons, and today they share their stage. They're 7 to 15, and they've come from competitions in all 50 states. And now they're here. Meeting Masters winners. And putting on the 18th green. It's just so amazing. It's just the best thing ever. This is a dream. The first of two big Sundays in Augusta, this one filled with nothing but joy. On Monday, Chairman Billy Payne, joined by the leaders of the RNA, the PGA of America, and the USGA, announced Augusta National's support of golf's return to the Olympics. So I'm very pleased to announce that the gold medal winner of the men's competition in the Olympic Games will receive an invitation to the following year's Masters Tournament. On Wednesday, the kids are a little younger and they're not really here to play. Most of them will be caddying for dad in the annual par three contest and there's never been one quite like this. Holes in one throughout the afternoon, a record nine of them. <laughs> Including two from the popular group of Jordan Speed, Justin Thomas and Ricky Fowler. And it happened at the fourth hole. Thomas in his first Masters. Making his first memory. Fowler right behind him. Can you believe it? Jimmy Walker did something never done in this contest. And we don't mean his hole in one. He shot a course record eight under par 19 to win the Crystal Trophy. Thursday morning, Arnold Palmer. 
When I came here in 1954, the first time, I thought about playing golf here and winning the Masters, and nothing ever got in my mind except that. Arnold Palmer is the Masters champion of 1960. It brings tears to your eyes and makes you makes you want to be a part of it and just stay a part of it the rest of your life. Not driving this year, but forever, a part of the Masters tradition. Please join me in a welcome, a salute, and a heartfelt thank you to our four-time Masters champion, Mr. Arnold Palmer. The King is 86 years old. Today, he watches the other two members of golf's big three. Gary Player. Wow. And Jack Nicklaus. Hit the traditional opening tee shots. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Masters has now officially begun. Have fun. The start of the Masters is a time of nervous anticipation. Going to the first tee Thursday is the most nervous I get all year. Masters winner Adam Scott has won twice on the PGA Tour this year. Masters winners Bubba Watson and Charles Schwartzel also have won on tour. And Phil Mickelson at age 45 is in good form among the favorites. But world number one Jason Day is visualizing a green jacket. And number three, Rory McIlroy, needs a Masters win to complete the career Grand Slam. And of course, full attention will be given to world number two, the defending champion, Jordan Spieth. The first round is underway. Zach and Dustin Johnson have virtually identical birdie tries at the seventh hole. Sergio Garcia at 14. Shoots 69. A score matched by Justin Rose thanks to a pair of tricky left to right putts at three and ten. On the first tee, Augusta native Vaughn Taylor <laughs> takes time to visit with his grandmother, Gladys Murphy. Said he could see she was close to tears. There's a cheer at 12 as Lucky Kaufman watches his brother Smiley make birdie in a round of 73. Danny Willett in his second Masters. Makes birdie at three and shoots 70. Rory McIlroy for Eagle at 13. Birdie at 15. It was tough. I went out there, tried to play my own game, and I felt like I did that pretty well. You know, I, I played within myself. I had a lot of nice shots. Shane Lowry made five birdies today. Danny Lee made six. Both shot 68 and tied for second place. Wind was up in the afternoon, a harbinger of tough scoring conditions. World number one, Jason Day, was off to a good start. At the par five second hole, this shot led to an eagle. And with this second at nine, Oh, almost oh, twice. He was out in five under par 31. How fragile is a good round? 
this wedge at 15. Led to a three putt bogey. And this tee shot at 16. In the pond, led to a three putt triple. I got out of position, um, you know, the last four holes. So obviously it's frustrating, but um, I'm not too disappointed because I felt like I actually played pretty well for the most part in the tougher conditions. And then as we came home, it was, it was actually quite easy and I, I made a mess of it. 9.48 a.m. Jordan Spieth began his third Masters. I would have signed for two under today and not even played the round. <laughs> that would have been a bad deal. He got to one under after this second at number three. To three under here at the par five eighth. And then added birdies at 10 and 13. He played with U.S. amateur champion Bryson DeChambeau, who was one under before learning a costly lesson about chipping back toward the water at 15. He made a great bogey save and shot 72. Bryson DeChambeau played to his standards and off round and shot even par in tough conditions at the Masters. Watch out for him. Spieth made his sixth birdie of the day at 18 and led the tournament for the fifth round in a row. You know, the no bogeys was, uh, was really cool today. I thought today that maybe wouldn't be possible. Certainly made a couple nice longer putts to save. The one on 16 maybe didn't deserve to go, but it hit the back of the cup hard. I mean, there's a chance that six under wins this tournament with given the next few days. So we're just going to have to stay really patient and present and uh, understand that, again, this is a major championship. It's often going to feel like two tournaments in one. Um, so, you know, bogey's not the worst score out here. They're going to happen. I didn't have any today, but they're going to come. Uh, just recognize it's just the first round uh, and it's a solid start. He was the only player in the field of 89 to go bogey free on day one. Three Englishmen were in a tie for fourth, Paul Casey, Ian Poulter, and Justin Rose. Phil Mickelson in his 24th Masters. Tom Watson two over in his 43rd and final Masters. What Jason Day did yesterday, Phil Mickelson does today. He makes birdies early and is one under for the tournament. But leaves a ball in the bunker at seven. Three putts from five feet at eight. And puts balls in the water here at 15 and again at 16. And misses the cut by one. I don't know how to explain it. I, I just threw away a lot of shots. I just made a lot of uh, poor shots in the wrong spot. I just managed, this is the worst I've managed myself around this golf course. Um, I, I don't know what to say. In the tradition of Bobby Jones, six amateurs were invited to this Masters, including Paul Chaplin, the Latin America amateur champion. At 16, the second youngest player in Masters history. And another exciting teenager from China. Asia Pacific amateur champion, Ching Jin. Under difficult conditions, two of the amateurs made the cut. British amateur champion Roman Langas with an eagle at 15. One amateur contended for the lead. 
Bryson DeChambeau, under par for the tournament with a birdie at one. Matched by fellow competitor Jordan Speed, who also birdies three and builds a five-shot lead. He said bogeys would come, but he didn't expect a four putt for a double at five. Scoring is increasingly difficult as the winds gust. Three players move into the top five, Scott Piercy, Danny Lee, and Hideki Matsuyama, whose birdie at 12 is the first of three in a row, but none of them breaks par on this day. Rory McIlroy emerges from the crowd. It's his second try for the career Grand Slam. Hitting five wood at 15 into the wind. And onto the green from where he two putts for birdie. At 16, he's above the hole, facing a birdie putt with six feet of break. Late in this second round, McElroy enjoying a stretch that has launched him to near the top of the leaderboard. DeChambeau using what he terms his one plain swing. All his irons are the same length, and it certainly works for him here at nine. Setting up a birdie to go two under. The leader, Speed is fighting to stay in the lead here at nine. Where he makes bogey, and then his troubles continue. Jordan Spieth, who has dominated the tournament so far, has dropped shots at the ninth, and now a few moments ago at the tenth as well. Five under par. It means Rory McIlroy is within two shots of the lead. He's playing the 18th. go he gets in at three under that is huge that's what he needed I don't really look at the names on the left of the leaderboard I'm looking at the number that's on the very far right doesn't make a difference to me who it is up there you know whoever that is ahead of me at that point um, you know I just want to finish one better than that the amateur just three strokes out of the lead no. pulls his second toward the pond at 11 but the result is brilliant, and he makes that putt for birdie. Now on the tee at 12. And he ties McElroy, just one behind speed. Acknowledges the support he's getting from the patrons, but following a pattern in this tournament of players rising on the leaderboard and falling back with double bogeys and worse, he hits his tee shot at 18 into an unplayable lie. Speeth has bogeyed 16 and 17 and is looking at three in a row if he can't get up and down at 18. Jordan Spieth. I got two more days to give it everything I have, and that's what we'll do. DeChambeau was putting for double bogey. He finished with a seven. You know, I'm only four back, and look, if I don't play well over the weekend, I don't play well. If I do, I do. And if I can do that, which I know I can, it'll be a cool journey. The low round of the day was a 71. Four players, including McElroy, shot it. Danny Willett was two over on his round. World number one Jason Day is five back, tied with 58-year-old Bernhard Langer, with whom he'll be paired in round three. 29 Masters champions attended the most exclusive dinner in golf. Tuesday night, including Tom Watson, who announced this Masters would be his last in which he'd compete. The memories of 
live it. You know, it seems like you know, uh, you could have been here in 1975, I mean, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Pretty vivid. That's what happens when you come to a special place. It's his 43rd. He won the first of two, beating Jack Nicklaus in 1977. Got a chance, yes! And receiving his green jacket from Raymond Floyd. There's an echo of those wins at the sixth hole today. I dreamt about playing the Masters. Yes. When I watched the Masters uh, on TV, I watched, of course, I watched Arnie, and then I watched Jack, and I seen, you know, seen the likes of Byron Nelson and, and, uh, and Sam Snead. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it's a wonderful experience from, from day one. Just for old time's sake, there was this putt for birdie at 18. He only missed the cut by two. I've been uh, I've been blessed to be able to play here and have uh, fans. Uh, uh, hope I, I hope I entertain some fans here, or the, the patrons here, uh, and, I, uh, and I I appreciate their applause for me and, and how they treated me today out there. Lots of lots of hats off to Tom today. It was really pretty special. Among those making the cut this year were 51-year-old Davis Love III, 58-year-old Bernhard Langer, and 57-year-old Larry Mize, who put on a dazzling putting show on the first three holes Saturday. From 44 feet at one, from 13 feet at two, and yes, from 62 feet at the third. Birdie, birdie, birdie. But good scores are not going to come easily today. The Northwest wind is up again. At 15, Billy Horschel was about to mark his ball only to watch the wind blow it into the water. As Mize dropped back from his torrid start, Bernhard Langer, moved up the leaderboard. He had a birdie at two. And another here at five. A bogey at six was followed by this third shot at the par five eighth. He made that for birdie. And was putting for eagle at 13. He was paired with Jason Day and was 30 yards and more behind Day's tee shots, but was still tied with him as Day putted from 70 feet at 14. Longer's response. Simply amazing. That was the jewel of the day and Longer won it with a birdie at 15. For a 58-year-old, it's, it's fun to be in this position and uh, play with the best in the world. From a veteran playing his 33rd Masters to a player less than half his age playing his first, Smiley Kaufman, who still lives with his parents in Vestavia Hills, Alabama, nearly made eagle at 14. Then, 
birdied 16 to achieve his first goal of the weekend. Getting contention. And now that I'm here, you know, there's, there's a lot of work left to do, kind of readjust the goals a little bit, and then uh, going to go try to win tomorrow. Hideki Matsuyama is the same age as Kaufman, 24, but this is his fifth Masters. And with a birdie at 14, he finishes tied for third with longer. Danny Willett at 12. A birdie here gets him into red numbers. But this second at 15 into a headwind. Is in the pond and he finishes the day even. Tied for fifth with Jason Day. And Dustin Johnson who couldn't make a putt on the second nine and shot even par 72. One shot back is Lee Westwood, who's been top 10 here in three of the last four years. This shot at 14 sets up his third birdie in a row. And the best second nine of the day, a four under par 32. The head-to-head -head pairing of Roy McIlroy and Jordan Spieth did not live up to expectations. McIlroy never made a birdie and was five over after a double bogey at 11. He had his chances, but couldn't convert. It's just one of those days you have to try to forget about it and move on. For the third day in a row, Spieth built his lead on the first nine. He made his second double bogey of the tournament at 11, but fought right back at 12. With that birdie, another at 14, and a third right here at 15. He was six under and had a four shot lead with three holes to play. Part 16, then drove into the trees at 17 and made bogey. Oh, I hit the tree and came backwards. Another tee shot to the right at 18. And he compounded the error with a poor chip on his third. It's not even close. Hit the ball, bud. Hit it. And when his par putt came up short, he needed this for bogey. I've just got to absolutely throw this away. I've got to, I've got to throw away the finish to this round. Um, just pretend tomorrow's a new round and everyone's tied. In the last two days, Spieth is five over par on holes 16, 17, and 18. World number one, Day, heads a trio that's just three back. McElroy only five behind. A tough day for the amateur, DeChambeau, who played the 13th and 15th holes three over par. What do you do um, tonight to clear your head uh, and, and move on? Uh, probably go break something real quick and then <laughs> grab some dinner and watch a movie. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fine. 60 years ago, the first televised Masters began with second shots at 15 on Sunday. Today, all 18 holes are broadcast to over 200 countries and territories. And now, including the first ever live 4K HD sports coverage of all the play at Amen Corner as well as virtual reality cameras bringing the viewer onto the golf course. It's like you're right there. Yeah. On Sunday, the winds were light and out of the south, 
The tee shot at three was downwind, and Rory McIlroy threatened to make a move. By driving the green on the short par four. He made a birdie from there. Denmark's Soren Kjeldsen made testing birdie putts. At both three and five and got in the red numbers. Danny Willett also moved into red with a birdie at six and was putting for eagle at eight. This to tie for the lead. He was just one behind Jordan Speed. But others fell back. Bernhard Langer chipped over the green at three, made double bogey, and never threatened. Hideki Matsuyama bogeyed four, five, and this second shot at six. led to a double bogey that dropped him from contention. While Smiley Kaufman, his mom Pam, looking on, missed birdies early and made bogeys late. And so with 13 holes to play on Sunday, Jordan Spieth still held a one-shot lead. Once again, he began to build on that lead on the first nine. Oh, yeah! Willett, now two behind, was in trouble at the ninth hole. and would have that to save par. His fellow competitor, Lee Westwood, was putting for birdie. It's a good putt. Yes, it is. There you go. And he was one under. Spieth at seven. Played the slope of the green. And made another birdie, and the lead was three. As Kaufman bogeyed the hole. Will it to save par at nine? It was massive, massive. Yeah, momentum's everything on a day like today. Amateur Roman Longasque from France at 16. Shot 31 on the second nine and a final round 68. While Bryson DeChambeau finished his first Masters with a birdie at 18 and the low amateur title. It's an honor that uh, will stay with me forever and I'll never forget this day, especially making that putt on the last hole to end my amateur career is pretty cool. Dustin Johnson made a double bogey at five that seemed to take him out of the tournament, but fought back with birdies at six, eight, and here at nine. Five Englishmen would finish in the top ten in this Masters, beginning with 21-year-old Matthew Fitzpatrick, who birdied four of his final five holes and was the first to post the low round of the day, a 67. Spieth leading by three and chipping for eagle at eight. Set up his third birdie in a row, and the lead was four. Willett on the tee at the dangerous 12th.
was fortunate that the ball stayed out of Ray's Creek and he saved par from there. Spieth seemingly unstoppable for birdie at nine. How about it? Uh, it he's just unbelievable. His ability to read the green and make the stroke and track it at perfect pace. Just demoralizing to everybody else. The lead was five with nine holes to play. You feel like you're almost starting just another round there. You're almost starting almost another tournament. And um, you can feel the difference in momentum. Another big story today, the 16th hole. Here is Shane Lowry, eight iron. The hole accessible today. Watch and enjoy. Davis Love the third with a seven iron. Next up, Louis Oosthuizen. I've been here 17 years. I have never seen an afternoon like this. Commentary by Vern Lundquist. It's been said many times that the Masters begins at the 10th hole Sunday. Here's 22-year-old Jordan Speed on the tee with that five-stroke lead. It's right. Yeah, just blocked it up on top of the hill. It's no, it just makes things a lot longer. It's added 40 yards. A second Englishman finishes in the top 10. Paul Casey equals the low round of the day, a 67, and is one under for the tournament. Spieth for par at 10. Willett for birdie at 13. The five shot lead is down to three. Dustin Johnson going for the green at 13. Will two putt from there for birdie and is four back in third place. Spieth and Willett are three strokes and three holes apart. Spieth in trouble again off the tee at 11. Willett in good position at 14. Willett's second. Oh. Applying pressure. Spieth's third after chipping out. One man putts for par, one man putts for birdie. And the result is a two-shot swing. Danny Willett has made up four strokes in two holes. Rory McElroy finishes his eighth Masters, tied for 10. Look, I know how to play this golf course, but, um... It's, it's playing it when it really matters. 
10 and 11, you can take bogeys there. I was still two under with a couple par fives left. My goal for the day was four under. Um, so we were still right on pace. Yeah, just a nice solid one. Yep. And just committing to right on that CBS camera, you know. You know, Michael said, hit it right here, hit it right here. I just didn't take that extra deep breath. And I remember just getting over the ball thinking, I'm just going to go ahead and hit a little cut to the hole. That was the right club, it's just the wrong shot. I should have just played a draw on that hole. I'm not really sure what happened on the next shot, I just hit it fat. At 15, Westwood and Willett don't know what happened yet. And Westwood moves into second place. Willett putting for birdie. Makes par. And now learns that Spieth has made a quadruple bogey at 12. Spieth has plummeted to a tie for fourth as he stands on the 13th tee. And I told Mike, I said, you know, buddy, it seems like we're collapsing. And you know, I wanted to be brutally honest with the way I felt towards him so that he could then respond with what is necessary to get us to rebound, and he did. I just feel fortunate that I was in the position I was to then actually pounce on the opportunity. When the pressure got on him towards the end, he, quality shots, great shot into 16. Dustin Johnson now. I don't know, but he had 219 yards, and he went for it, and this is a brilliant effort by Dustin Johnson. That's unbelievable, right, for the trees. <laughs> I, I saw no window opening there, Nick, but he obviously had one. Danny Willett is the leader by two. Less than an hour ago, Danny Willett was five back of Jordan Spieth. Now this is to get within three. And he does it. Bounces back yet again. Lee Westwood had to make par at 16. Now he was three behind. Dustin Johnson to get within one of the lead. Settled for birdie. Danny Willett, bogey free on his round, was long left at 17. He's played it beautifully. What a shot. That's unbelievable. That is extremely tough nerves right there. That was not an easy chip. He made par. For Birdie to get back to within two. It's coming back. Got a chance. Oh. 
and he made par at 14. Johnson needing birdie at 17. Go a little bit. Just go a little bit. Found the front bunker. Seven iron on the way. It's going to work. Oh, look at this bounce. Really, it's really going to work now. And Dustin Johnson must make it. Thin. Tried for too much. His kid's on such a high right now. He's 28 years old, playing his second Masters, 12 days after the birth of his first child, a son, Zach. Tentative with that one. Yeah. Stood over it a long time. Has another look at the leaderboard. <laughs> but yes. he admits it. Meanwhile, Go time here for Jordan Peter at 15. Has to make birdie here. They have any realistic chance. <laughs> Bringing it in low. And very nicely controlled. It was very, very cool. Uh, what the patrons here did for me. They believed I could do it, and it helped me believe I could do it. Willett took off his white sweater and made his final putt in green. We shall wait and see. Look at the ovation for this kid. Speed for birdie. Sneaks in the left side. And Jordan Spieth is not done yet. Oh, yes! He's the defending champion. He's two back. But he's got a makeable birdie at 16, and then who knows? What's going through your heart right now in your head? <laughs> no, it's still, uh, well, it's awesome. We played great golf today. Um, it's been a fantastic week. Um, and yeah, we're just, you know, it's the waiting game now. Obviously, Jordan just hit it in there quite close on 16. So, um, you know, we're just going to have to see what happens, you know, get some food inside us and, uh, and just make sure we're ready for the eventuality if there's a playoff. that goes in who knows what happened it's a fine line between disaster and success at this place speed at 17 needs to go birdie birdie bailed on it and his bunker realistically he had to hold the bunker shot mathematically he had to make the putt. Danny Willett won the 80th Masters with a bogey-free 67 that equaled the low round of the weekend. Jordan Spieth finished tied for second with Lee Westwood. When we're on, I believe we're the best in the world. Big picture, uh, this one will hurt. It'll take a while. You dream about these kind of days and, and things like that, but for him to, to happen, you know, they're still mind-boggling. This, this week was my week, and fortunately enough, we were able to play good golf to go along with that um, and come out on top. Chairman Billy Payne presented Bryson DeChambeau with the Low Amateur Award. And then it was time for a new man to wear the green jacket. Jordan, I would be grateful if you would do the honor of placing the green jacket on Dan.
there's a lot of things that go around being a Masters champion. You know, you're not just you don't just do it for that one year. Um, you know, you've got your Masters dinner, you're in the Masters locker room for life, you're at the Champions dinner for life. You get to come back and play for as long as you really want, I guess. It, it's a tradition like no other, I guess. This place, it, it really is that little bit special, um, and I'm just, you know, I'm just massively privileged to uh, to be part of it now.